Okay, we're back. Let's do this. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Lore Party Podcast Network Twitch channel. My name's Connor. I'll be your host once again. I want to thank you all for joining us, or watching later, whatever the case. If you're experiencing this broadcast at any moment in time, I thank you and welcome you. Uh, a, little while, a little while ago I played some uh, Freedom Fighters, a game I'm very fond of. It's very nostalgic for me. I played a lot of it as a adolescent. Came out in 2003 on PlayStation 2, GameCube, I think Xbox too, from that era. Original Xbox. And, uh, God, the amount of times I must have beaten this game back in the day. But yeah, I started a playthrough, uh, maybe about a week ago or so, here on the, uh, Lore Party Twitch. Thought I'd pick it back up. Keep it, keep it going. Keep it rolling. But while I have you here, I want to invite you all to uh, check out the high-quality network of podcasts and various entertainment products and shows that the Lore Party, Lore Party Media LLC has to offer. You can find all of our uh, all of our shows and episodes on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your fix. The Lore Party Main Show, Gom Jabbar, Winds Howling. Hazel's Story, Those Who Play Create, Night Night Spectre, all of it. It's all good. You'll have a good time. And uh, don't be a stranger. You can find us on Twitter as well. At Lore underscore Party. Anyway, let's get into it. In case you weren't around last time, Freedom Fighters is a uh, third-person shooter where you are a, uh, a plumber in New York. I shit you not, you're a plumber who lives in New York. And it's like an alternate history Cold War thing where the Soviets kind of take over the world and they invade America and uh, you and some ragtag New Yorkers uh, <laughs> hide in the sewers and become guerrilla revolutionaries and you fight the Soviets in the streets. It's, it's really fun, actually. Um, there's some pretty straightforward third-person shooter action, but a little bit of strategy and squad based tactics involved you kind of lead you can lead a team of guys guys and gals to fight the good fight it's a lot of fun here's got my friends over here sometimes i wonder how mr jones gets all his information excuse me he sure is connected though we'd be nowhere without him hmm. what did he do before the war ah, i don't know probably worked on wall street or something i think chris and there you are. <laughs> like they didn't notice me standing here. <laughs> yeah, right. We've really stirred them up this time. They've added plenty of reinforcements. We'll need to start operating at night, so stick to the shadows and avoid their floodlights. Ooh, nighttime operations. To deal with here. The Soviets are unloading BTRs at the docks. That'll be our first target. Next, it's a power plant. Some of our fighters tried to take it last night, but were caught. We think they're being held somewhere close by. Last is the movie theater. It's a bit of a mystery to us, but a lot of troops are moving in and out of the area, so we need to take action. Okay. It's be a tough assignment, Chris. We know you can handle it. Oh yeah, you know I can handle it. Like there's any doubt. Yeah, I've got uh, basically uh, Isabella here and Phil Bagston. They are sort of my co-captains of the resistance. We all lead this this organization together. And yeah, every between missions you can come back here to the rebel base here in the sewers and uh, recuperate, resupply, plan your next move. We've got plenty of ordnance here. We got we got a nice cache of supplies and ammunition at this point. Plenty of C four. All the bing bang boom you could need. Some grenades. Assault rifles, SMGs. Medical supplies, shotguns, Molotovs, you name it, we got it. Well, we don't have RPGs or sniper rifles yet. Yet. Alright, here we go. Where are we going to go next? Yeah, I think Warehouse District is usually the good pl a good place to start. Bring down the bridges. We need to choke off reinforcements and equipment being transported from warehouses out to the surrounding areas. 
some elite Soviet forces have their HQ located here, so it's heavily guarded. Hoist our flag over it. It'll be a tremendous boost to our fighters' morale. Sounds like a plan. So yeah, when you blow up bridges, the Soviets can't move reinforcements across them anymore, and that basically means in other areas of the game, you don't have to worry about armored cars full of full of uh, soldiers showing up and overwhelming you, which is cool. So I think we'll just hit the bri hit the bridges first. I usually try and rescue the prisoners too, and then I just kind of make a break for it because the warehouse is heavily guarded and also helicopters show up. So I'll probably come back and take over the warehouse when the choppers are dealt with. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I can take it. Who knows? All right, here we go. We're in the field. We're out in the open. We're on the streets. Time to gather up some uh, some squad mates here. Fall in. Let's do it. We're rolling. Let's move. Okay, I'm in. Alrighty then. Uh, and shotgun guy. Why Get not? Over here. Sure thing. Right behind you. And uh. Join up. Finally, somebody's taking charge. Lead the way. All right. Got a crew. We're all grouped up. The Soviet soldiers took my son. He did nothing. They're holding a whole group of people down at the harbor. Oh, this is horrible. Please help. I want my son back. Not to worry, ma'am. I'm, I'm on top of it. Don't worry about a thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Popping off. Go get him. I order you. Charge. All right, they'll take cover by that car while I set the C4. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh shit, car coming. Oh, is it gonna blow up on the bridge? No, it's not gonna make it. Yep, it's moving on. <laughs> Driver of that APC was like, uh, looks like that bridge is not a, is a no-go. <laughs> like nope taking a detour all right fellas let's go move out docks it this way we can spring the prisoners and uh, make a break for it after that Bring it on. You heard me. go get them oh shit oh shit oh shit oh my god hit us with a grenade damn Man, I'm getting shot up. Got a man down. Go get him, boys. Go get him. I got you, buddy. All right. I think our way in is clear. Maybe not. Stay together. Gonna kill us, man. Stay cool, boys. We'll get you out of there. That get Take right. him out. Take him out. What do we got over here? Out Watch out. Wounded, uh, wounded soldier here. Yeah, I'm feeling merciful. Where'd your helmet go? <laughs> he was wearing a helmet a second ago. Whatever you say, I go. All right, that right. cool. He's on our side now. That works for me. Come on. In. Okay, so that cage is electrified. Yep, there's the generator. So. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. And the game crashed. Cool. Cool, cool. That's fun. Uh hmm. Let me Let me see if I can get back in. Let me see. <laughs> Wonder what happened there. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Let's see if, uh, 
I guess let's see if that happens again. <laughs> Weird. Well, it's an old game, you know. Old games have old game problems sometimes. Bring down the bridges. We need to choke off the Yeah, 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 bring down the bridges. Come with me. Follow me. Join up. Let's go. Finally, somebody's taking charge. Lead the way. All right. Wipe them out. Cross the bridge. Put them in the dirt. Let's try this again, once more with feeling. Alright. That's been taken care of. Deal with the bridge. <laughs> I like how you look both ways while you set the bomb. It's fun. All right. All right. Back to the docks. Follow me. Oh, shit. All right. Bridge is down. Watch out. Oh yeah, Grenade Boy is back. Not this time. Not this time, pal. Well. We kind of still got blown up. <laughs> got him. I still got pretty shot up, though. Oh well. Okay, so... Yeah, got to blow the generator so I don't get electromalized in the process. All right. That's been taken care of. Now we can open the cage. Let freedom ring. You may run free now. They're gonna kill us, man. Not anymore. Up your... <laughs> Come on, on your feet. Let's go. Good news is you're out of a prison camp. Bad news is you have to go to the sewers now. Hey, at least you're not gonna get shot down there. I think. Probably not. <laughs> All right. Job well done. Let's move out. God, I really have to shout out the music in this game again. I probably did last time too, but... The soundtrack is untouchable. I actually, I'm actually not one of the one of those big like listen to video game soundtracks just for fun like on my own time guys, but this is an exception. Like Freedom Fighter soundtracks, one of those that like I'll just listen to on its own, like not even while playing. And I don't do that a lot. I don't listen to a lot of soundtracks just in my own time. All right, let's get out of here. Taking fire. Come on. Move out, move out. Looks like we can flank Ivan this way. Yep, there they are. Let's take it to him. Burn, baby, burn! Yep, here come the reinforcements. They're 
Hopping out of the chopper. How oh, they gave up. They realized that was not a good LZ to land in. Can't say I blame them. Alright, one more bridge. And the job's done. Plenty more guys over here. Okay, bridges are down, prisoners are freed, and, uh, I could go ahead and push toward the, uh, warehouses. Yeah, you know what, you're in. Let's go. Let's go, let's, let's go for it. Let's try and take them out. We can capture the warehouses, I think. It'll be tricky, but doable. Frag out. Boom! <laughs> Shredded that sucker. Shoot. <laughs> it's fish in a barrel, folks. Fish in a barrel. Poor dumb bastards. Oh, oh god. Okay, yeah, so... There's a bunch of uh, machine gun nests over that way. Yeah, they're dug in pretty well, so... Uh, this direct approach is probably not a good idea. I could try throwing a bunch of grenades, seeing if that helps. <laughs> but probably not worth it still, so... I'm just gonna try and... Oh god, oh god, oh god! That hurt. All right, yeah, let's <laughs> let's try a different approach. You all right? Took a nasty spill there. <laughs> Come on, big fella. There you go. All right, let's let's fall back. Let's get out of here. There's there's always another way into enemy bases like that. There's always a way to flank, get the high ground. There's, you, there's almost always an alternate route into a Soviet stronghold, so... <laughs> That's what we're gonna try. We're gonna... I think the train tracks take us... could take us to the warehouse. We're gonna try that. Oh wait, I saw pistol ammo down there. I'm gonna go grab it. Ouch! <laughs> Going through a lot of med kits today. Oh, more chopper boys. Let's make them feel welcome. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. They just hit the ground and get blasted. I love it. Yep, they gave up. All right, let's move up. To, move up the tracks. Let's go. Let's go. Take it to him. Uh oh, there's a sniper up the road or up the tracks. Stay down. Keep your heads down, boys. There's a sniper. I think I see him. Yep. Oh shit, train coming too. Hold up. Let it pass. Yeah, so that's the target building. This is the warehouse building. We're uh, trying to take over. Lots of reds down there. Knock, knock. Oh, nailed him with a Molotov. Take that. Alright, let's get in there. If 
Follow me, boys. Got his ass. Think you're think you're slick with your fancy gun and uniform. All right. Okay, here we go. We can take out those gunners, thin the ranks a little bit. And closed casket funeral coming right up. There we go. <laughs> How about another one? Oh. Who else wants to go back home to Vladivostok with an extra hole to breathe out of, huh? Step right up. <laughs> Step right up. I need help. I am sick in the head. That was messed up. I, yeah, I don't have a don't have an angle on anyone else. Might be it. All right. Good enough. Let's go. Where are you? Where have you been, dude? Wounded guy. He won't follow us because I'm maxed out on followers, but... It's the right thing to do, I guess. Yeah, see, he's not up for it. My charisma level's not high enough. Sneaky... Sneaky Pete over here. Oh, shit. That guy had a shotgun. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Getting shot with a shotgun, point blank, uh, hurts a lot. <laughs> who, who would have thunk it? I'll go ahead and save here, just in case. Just in case the unthinkable happens. I catch a bullet. Yes, overwrite. Come on, I know what I'm doing. Alright, let's do this, fellas. Come on. See what's over there. Do it. If they're here, I'll find them. Destroy all of you. Here we go. Hit them. Come out. Oh shit. Man down, man down. I got gotcha. you. Oh fuck. We're uh, we're uh, surrounded a little bit. Is that all of them? We clear? I think that might be all of them. Unless... Nope. A couple of guys near the front gate. Fall back. Come on. That takes care of that. <laughs> Alright. Courtyard's clear. Let's sweep the building. What up, Ferris the Wheel? Welcome. And yes, f freedom is the word of the day. Sometimes you're granted your freedom, sometimes you have to fight for your freedoms. Today is one of those days. Oh god. Oh no! Oh shit! I did not realize how low my health was. Whoops. That's embarrassing. Michael, you got me killed. Way to go. <laughs> you distracted me and made me die. I'm kidding. Uh, well, good thing I saved then. Good thing I quick saved back there. Alright. Uh, most of you go that way. A couple of you over here. Say hello to my little friend. Uh oh, man down. Come on, get in the fight. Let's do this. I got you, pal. No one's dying on my watch. Especially me. <laughs> Anytime you need to die in an embarrassing way, I got your back. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm glad I can, glad I can count on you. Alright. 
Okay, let's clear out the warehouse and not die this time. Get in there. Wipe them out. Yeah, we really gotta watch out for these special ops assholes. These guys in the black uniforms. See, that, that's... Holy shit, that's like two of my guys down already. Yeah, these special ops guys, they can like... They've got SMGs that, uh... They're not very accurate over range, but... They shoot really fast, they can deal a lot of pain. Holy... Crap. Three wounded. This is tough. This is a this 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 warehouse is a kill box. But yeah, these special ops guys—they can also get behind your your uh, freedom fighters, your your guys, and choke them out. They get them in a like a chokehold. That's it's crazy. See, so yeah, I gotta watch out for those dudes. They're uh, they're no joke. Okay. Now we just gotta get to the roof. Raise our flag. And the day is ours. Stay close, boys. Do you have any squad commands, or do they just run off their own AI? Good question. Yes, there are squad commands, but they're very uh, rudimentary. Like, they're not super specific. Um, and they have, they have some AI. Uh... I'll show you. So, like, if I do an attack command, just, I'll send a dude in the direction I'm facing, and they'll either look for the enemy, or attack if an enemy's already there. And if I hold down the attack key, I send the whole group. See, there's no enemies, like, in sight, so instead of being an attack command, that's more of like a scout command, if that makes sense. So like, when they see enemies, and I do the attack command, that little red lightning bolt shows up over the enemy's head. But if there's no enemies, then it's kind of a go there and check it out sort of command. Yeah, so like, you press to send one guy, hold to send all of them. Um, there's also the return command, where you just get them to follow you again. Yeah, again, just tap to do one guy, hold to do the whole group. And then finally, there's the defend command, where they s stay where you're standing, and just get defensive, basically. And same, same, same deal. You can hold to order the entire group. But one little nuance is you can aim and command to to like precise precision target your command, basically. Pretty cool. Reminds me of Mass Effect squad system. Yeah, yeah, it's not that different. It's like uh. It's simple but functional. Like you can, you can get a lot of use out of it, but it's not overly complicated, I guess. All right, mission completed. That's one down, two to go. Get anything good there? I guess not. Oh, we got pistols. <laughs> nice, a crate of pistols. All right, job done. What's next? Let's do the movie theater next. Sure, the movie theater. Soviets are using it to temporarily house prisoners before sending them to Alaskan labor camps. You'll want to eliminate the chopper service pad. It'll bring down the number of units protecting the power station. Yeah, the Soviet headquarters in the movie theater is like, I guess the main target. What I'm really here to take out is the helipad. Once that's gone, I will be able to do the power station level without <laughs> without dying. Because at that level, uh, Soviet gunships show up and they will blow you to hell. So it's best to hit the helipad here first. 
before doing that level. So here we go. Wow, looks like the fight's already started. They got these two here, they can help me out. Come with me. Okay, I'm in. Get over here. I was born ready. All right, they're ready for a fight. Defend this area. Go take them out. Okay. Off to an alright start. Fall back. Let's, go. Let's, Let's go. move on. Coming up on a on a park, I think. There's a heavily entrenched position over there. We're probably better off avoiding, so I'm just gonna sneak past it. Try to at least. Yeah, they're dug in. There's a lot of them over there, and they've got machine guns, so. Machine gun nests are. It's always best to avoid them if you can. Or flank them, or hit them from above. This game does force you to think tactically sometimes. More recruits. Okay, so, see, not to discriminate, but. Pistols and revolvers, not super useful. The. The, f the fighters carrying assault rifles and shotguns are a little bit more valuable, so I'll take these two. Hmm, maybe the revolver. Why not? Okay, sure. What's interesting about this level is a lot of the freedom fighters you can recruit are women. It's like probably more female followers than any other level in the game, possibly, as far as I remember. Just, just an interesting quirk. Just something I've noticed. But. Pull out. Everybody. Right you. Ah, really but hey, the uh, the revolution welcomes all comrades, no matter their uh, sex, gender, what have you. Stay down, Fritz. Wait, why did I say Fritz? They're Russians, not German. Okay. Staying off the streets for the most part. Uh, once we cross this street, we can cut through the building ahead to get to the helipad. Staying off the streets is good. The streets are crawling with reds, so... Let's go. Move out. Alright, let's get back off the street. Come on. Get back inside. I think there's a sniper at the top of this building. I'm gonna go root him out. Evening, folks. Uh, Alright, good. One more. The more the merrier. Okay, we're almost to the top. That'll teach you to snipe in my city. <laughs> you people took a lot of ammo to drop that one dude. I'm not judging, just, just saying. Alright. Okay, so there's, here's the helipad. We can... We have the high ground, we can get the angle on them, take them all out. Get down there and blow it up. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, okay. Skippy down here got got excited. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for playing. And another. Who's next? Come on. Who wants to get a little extra air to their brain? Oh, beautiful. That's what you get for uh, standing next to uh, fuel barrels in a video game. I mean, come on, that's just asking for trouble. Hold still. Hold still. Right in the dome. 
Okay, that's all. That's all the bullets I've got. Give me back old reliable here. Let's get down there. Go wipe them out. Fight the good fight. That's all of them. Should be. Alright, should have a clear shot on the helipad now. You guys go hide over here. I mean, take cover. I'll do the honors. <clears throat> Mr. Hind here is gonna meet my old pal, Mr. C4. No more whirly birds for Ivan. Any more friendlies here. Unfortunately, we can't recruit any more of them, so. It's a shame, but we can go ahead and save while we're here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, this next part is going to be a bit of a grinder. A bit of a meat grinder. So we're going back out onto the streets. And, uh... Oh, shit. The car blew up. <laughs> My squad blew up. Come on, everybody get up. We're not done yet. We're heading out onto the street. Stay sharp. Oh my god. You people need to stop getting blown up. Get some cover. Yep, there's a machine gun right around the corner. And more of them down the street. Yeah, this is a tricky fight. Not a ton of cover. Overwhelming odds. We'll find a way, though. We always do. Alright, gotta deal with that machine gun nest. Frag out. You can't shoot a machine gun at us if you're diving for cover. Alright, get in there. Get in there, everybody. I'll cover our six. Street's clear. That's all of them. Good job, everybody. Oh, looks like a looks like a major kerfuffle going on over there. Let's see if we can't help out. Oh shit. Come on, use those machine guns. Put them to use. It's a target rich environment. Get some. Oh, 
Oh my god. There are so many wounded people. Yeah, this this battle is is ridiculous. Get in there, take him out. Okay, uh, I think that's it. You guys are welcome, I guess. Don't all thank me at once. Wow, I'm down to like half my med kits. Really burning through the med kits today. Alright, we're inside the theater. Everybody go to the bathroom before the movie, okay? Who wants popcorn? If I got a large, does anyone eat any? So I, I can't eat that much on my own. Hey, keep it down. <laughs> All these guys had to die because they wouldn't turn their phones off. Just, Just so you know. Eliminate. Fall back, squad. All right, keep keep moving, keep tearing ass, keep killing. <laughs> It'll never be enough to satisfy the bloodlust. All right, to the roof then, and I think that'll be it. Everybody ready? Let's hit it. Feed them lead. Blasted them. One more. Two more. Three more. Four more. Freaking die already. And that's it. We control the movie theater now. We can watch any movies we want, whenever we want, we don't have to pay! Hoorah! That's what this revolution's really been about. <laughs> Mission complete. Wow. Jeez. 20 medkits used. That's crazy. All right, back to base. Home sweet home. Mm, got some sniper rifles now. Very nice. The SVD Dragunov. Very fine piece of hardware. Sounds like the theater was a hard fight. You came through, Chris. Good work. You're damn right it was. Okay, last but not least, power plant. Let's do this. The power station on the Manhattan side of the water. Power lines run parallel with the bridge and into the adjoining area, supplying power to most of downtown. Destroying the power lines will kill the floodlights in the docking area, making it easier to infiltrate. Yeah, so I've already taken over the docks, so destroying the transformer isn't really all that useful <laughs> to me, but it'll still raise my charisma level, so it's fine. All right, let's get to work. Looks like these Patriots are already, already uh, in the heat of battle. Oh fuck, <laughs> get down, get down. Yeah, so there's uh, machine guns up the street and they are shredding the hell out of us. You guys need to get the hell out of the street. What is wrong with you? Come on. I can't keep bringing you back to life all day. 
Okay, I'm in charge now. I'm running this show. And I say, we don't get shot by machine guns if we can help it. Alright, let's go. There's always a way around. There's always a way to flank the enemy. Just gotta find the high ground. Like, like this building right here. Alright, let's go. Let's take it to him. So far, so good. All right, this is a good, a good spot. Let's pick them off. Let them have it. Stack them like cordwood, boys. Oh man. They were shooting the shit out of us a few minutes, like, barely a couple minutes ago. How the table... How the turntables have... You know, whatever. <laughs> Can I grenade that machine gun? Not quite. But I could make him run for cover, that's not nothing. Alright, you guys stay here, I'll see if I can deal with that machine gun. Ouch. I'll try not to die in the process. Peekaboo. Got him. Okay. Alright, stay low. Let's cross the street. These guys are, uh... <laughs> Just taking five, <laughs> taking a breather. I'll leave him to it. Go ahead and save. Well, I've got the chance. <clears throat> Quick save. Little contingency plan. All right, let's move on. Oh God. <laughs> Dude came out of nowhere. Yeah, whatever, what you said what he said. <laughs> Get back here. You heard me. Stand your ground. Go, go, go. Move up the street, take him out, get some cover. I just love watching them I, you know, just sitting back and letting them work. It's so satisfying. Just watching them shred the bad guys from cover like that. That's cool. It's one of the little things about this game I really fell in love with as a young man. Just pulling off little feats of tactical brilliance like that. Alright, let's go. Okay, boys, let's go through the creepy, collapsed tunnel where nothing will fall on our heads, I promise. Totally safe in here. Tunnel's clear. And the power station's right up ahead. Ain't no way you gonna blow that power plant. You're taking out the power lines in the back. 
Okay, works for me. Power lines are just over this uh, brick wall. Looks like the entrance is down that way, but I think what I'll do is leave the team here and see if I can scout it out from up here. Oh, knew it. Sniper. <laughs> oh, bullseye. In the face! Alright, let's take a look-see. And sure enough, tons of machine guns covering the front entrance. Yeah, if we walked in that way, we'd, we'd be goners. I could bring the guys through this building and down into the back of the courtyard. But I'm going to try and do something kind of cool. I'm going to try and finesse this a little bit. I'll send the team up the street. They'll hold position by the by the entrance. And what I can do is Nope, no, no, nope, nope, fall back. Nope. What are you Oh my god. What are you No, fuck. It's not what I wanted at all. Okay, I'll just try and snipe the gunners. Clear the way for the for my team to get in there. Okay, now they're clear. Now get in. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Oh, they jumped the gun. They're eager, but their heart's in the right place. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, that worked. Just one casualty, one guy wounded. It's not so bad. Alright. You fellas hold position here. I've got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Alley Cat 3.7 says, hi, what's up? Shouldn't you be at the uh, theater right now? <laughs> Glad you could join us, though. All right, I'm going to blow this transformer up. I've always wanted to destroy a transformer, like a Decepticon. You can just call me... Starscream, the way I'm blowing up Transformers over here. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Alright. Target down. Let's get out of here. We just gotta move up the road and hit the power station. And we'll be done. Come on, guys. Let's get a move on. Let's get the lead out. This music kicks so much ass again. I can't I can't state it enough. Just how hard this music goes. Whoa! <laughs> that dude got blasted. Eh. Still not gonna join us, but oh well. Worth a try, I guess. Get back here, squad. There's more of them. Go take them out. Yes, what are you guys doing? Come on. Move up. Man down. Who's hit? Who's hit? Someone put a hand up. <laughs> what happened? Where's my wounded guy? Way the hell back there. When did? How did that happen? Sleeping on the job. Really, dude? Alright, let's go. Come on. You're fine. Okay, there's the power station. We're almost there. Just got another fortified courtyard full of bloodthirsty Soviets to chew our way through.
Takes care of that. Alright, come on, group up. Gather around. Get up there. Stay in cover. I think there's a... Yes, there it is. There's a machine gun. Top of those containers. Oh, fuck! Another one right there! God damn. Okay, uh... There's an invisible wall blocking this way, so that's a no-go. Gonna have to... Just... Stick and move. Be quick. Nope, that didn't work. God damn it. Shit. Oh no. I haven't saved in a while. Oh, that checkpoint kind of screwed me a little bit. Let's try this again, I guess. I wasn't careful enough. I'm not even on, like, a super hard difficulty, either. I'm on pretty much the normal difficulty, I guess. I just got careless. I slipped up. Made a mistake. Let's go. Come on, folks. We're moving out. For freedom! Okay, let's do this the smart way this time. I'm just gonna... take the squad up into the building and <laughs> just go directly inside the courtyard. Just ambush... This, the Soviets from behind. Assuming they... okay. Yeah, I was worried for a second that they weren't gonna follow me into the building. But... looks like they figured it out. Their pathfinding AI was up to snuff this time. Alright, now to do the dirty work. Frag out! Get back, shake them out. Go, let's go. go get him! Oh, that was a good throw. Well-placed grenade right there, if I do say so myself. Alright, dig in. I'll set the charge. Again. I feel like I've done all this before. Deja vu. That takes care of that. You know, dying and restarting is not that bad, considering I get to listen to the song again. <laughs> That's the silver lining. Get moving. Eliminate 
Oh god, lots of them. Holy shit. That was an RPG. That guy had an RPG. That was close. You know what? I think we're going to borrow this for a minute. <laughs> this might come in handy. Now I've got a bazooka. Ho, ho, ho. Now we're talking. <laughs> Just try and climb the fence, I dare you. Oh my god, that's so funny. Up and over. Let's go. Alright. Oh shit! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's getting up. Alright, flank left. I'll cover. Got him. Got his ass. Go watch for ice. Get, moving. Get in there and clear him out. Alright, that went a lot better than last time. Not too shabby. The RPG made all the difference, I guess. <sighs> Alley Cat 317 says, I heard kids got filthy rich at school today. That makes no sense because it's the middle of July. There is no school. Kids wouldn't be at school today. I am... I don't know what you're driving at, but why would kids be at school? They, they grabbed him by the drinking fountain. I knew you were I knew that's what you were trying to do. <laughs> I tried to head you off at the pass, but you would not be deterred. Ah, oh, well played, I guess. Oh, man. That joke is so dumb. <laughs> they grabbed Filthy Rich. That's, I don't know. It's kind of funny, but it's mostly dumb. <laughs> uh, more wounded guys that uh, I can't recruit, so... Sorry, pal. Sorry, fellas. You're just going to have to hang tough. Slippery little bastard. Gotcha. More rockets. What is happening? Did someone, like, teleport through the wall or something? Oh, there you are. How'd you get in here? <laughs> Alright, yep. I see another machine gun at the top of that stairway. I think there's a sniper, too. Not for long, though. Intermission is ending. Happy gaming. <laughs> oh, thanks. Enjoy your show. Thanks for dropping by. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Drive safe. <laughs> Alright, I think that got him. Let's move up. While well, we've got an opening. That's all the uh, RPGs are going to need for now. Back to old reliable here. AK. Automat Kalashnikova.
Do you guys know that's what AK in AK-47 means? Avtomat Kalashnikova. The automatic Kalashnikov model of 1947. However, to be specific, this one I'm carrying is probably more of a AK-109 or maybe an AK-74, one of the uh, later models. Not the original 47. Oh shit, someone's down. Well, I don't know how to get there, so he's on his own. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Nice knowing you. You can die knowing you served the cause. And that's the end of that chapter. Another another do job well done. We have breaking news in the war against the rebels. Earlier tonight, a rebel stronghold was successfully captured by our troops. The head of the group is one of the most prominent leaders and symbols of the underground resistance. None other than the brother of the alleged Freedom Phantom. The Phantom has been unmasked. His real name is Christopher Stone, a 32-year-old plumber. After a brief interrogation by our intelligence officers, the brother, Troy Stone, confessed to his participation in many crimes carried out by the rebel group. Now repentant, Troy Stone has agreed to send a plea to his brother to stop further terrorist activities. We take you live to a press conference at City Hall. Citizens of New York. A dark chapter in your history is drawing to a close. Here now is the brother of the Freedom Phantom with a special plea to his brother to desist from further fighting. My, uh, my brother and I, we were just bored. And we sort of drifted into crime at a young age due to a, a lack of direction or, or ideals and video games all night, violent ones, <laughs> the society we grew up in kind of abandoned us, you know, but it's never too late to straighten out, so, um, so Chris, for my sake, and the sake of the new system, I, I, I beg you to stop your terrorist activities, you may just surrender to the authorities, and, and they'll treat you fairly, if the Soviet government gives you their word of honor, just please do as they ask. It is obvious that the heroic Soviet army has Everything once again... Everything said was lies. They forced me, Chris. Don't believe this thing of propaganda. Keep fighting. Set us all free. Ah, get to him. <laughs> and now to the weather for tomorrow. I hear it is uh, getting colder, comrade Ileana. Oh, man. Good old Troy. A real one to the end. Loyal to the end. Back home to the sewers. You know, I never 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 realized until now, but the cutscenes of the raft and the base. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the, those old paintings of George Washington crossing the Delaware before the battles of uh, Trenton or Princeton, I mean. Yeah, just never really, never really uh, noticed that before. But. All right, I've got a revolver here. Should I? I guess I'll keep it for now. All right, uh, let's see what's up. Oh, Jones is back. Work. Your handling of the command center was very effective at quelling further advances by the Soviets. Well done indeed. Yeah, well, it's not all good news, Jones. Tell him. Tell him what happened. We're seriously hurting here. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Chris, but your brother is dead. Shortly after he appeared on television, he was taken to Governor's Island. What? We understand that he was executed personally by General Tatali. No. He said that he died like a man. No. Flinch or tear. Oh my god. I know it is painful. Oh my god. But you can be proud. Man, I can't take this. The Tatarin's gonna pay for killing Troy. He's gonna regret he ever stepped foot in New York. I say we hit him with everything we've got and Bags? Chris, I'm sorry. I know it hurt, but 
We need to keep a cool head. We don't want to do anything irrational. Yet, I have a strange feeling about this. Yes, well... You must understand that the only action now that will truly hurt the Soviet agenda is to assassinate Tatarin. <laughs> Eliminating him will spread chaos in the Soviet ranks and give way to a united American resistance. Oh, oh. That's a brilliant plan, Jones. What do we do? Invite ourselves over for a cocktail, then slip some cyanide in his vodka? No, we're gonna need some serious firepower to take him down. That guy's got his eye on every rat and cockroach on the island. Jones might be right. If we did manage to remove Tatarin, it could be the turning point for our cause. Let's double check our intelligence. Mm. There has to be a way to get him. Mm. After yesterday's hit on their installations, they'll be expecting company. This will need to be a surgical strike. We can't risk sending in a squad. Surgical. I'm afraid this is a solo operation. Solo? Oh. Hmm. A two man operation. Well, I know this is personal, Chris, and that's cool, kid, but if you need me, I'm with you all the way, buddy. Bring on Tatarin and his boys. I got plenty of bullets for you. I quite agree with Isabella. This mission calls for stealth. Not hand-handed bravado. <laughs> There's a sniper rifle in the weapons carrier. Chris, I'll arrange for a rowboat to the island. I love the phrase ham-handed bravado. Ham-handed is so funny to me. What's up? Produced by LK. Welcome to the stream. Freedom indeed costs a buck oh five. What would you do if you had to trade your dreams for freedom? <laughs> Freedom costs a buck oh five. You're just in time. Uh, we're about to assassinate a Soviet general. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, it's a solo operation. I'm taking a rowboat out to Governor's Island, and uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna snipe a dude. I'm sniping the general. the The bad guy general is gonna catch a bullet to the dome here in a few minutes. Ham-handed is the less dirty version of ham-fisted. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. I, I get that. Okay, here we are. I've managed to row my way to Governor's Island. Boy, are my arms tired. And I still gotta lug this sniper rifle over to the... over to a uh, vantage point to kill Tatarin from. Got my work cut out for me. It's me all alone against all these reds. Ain't gonna be easy. Gonna have to use finesse and subtlety. Gonna have to be very discreet. And <laughs> low profile. And the best way to do that is to wait for these sons of bitches to group up and hit them with a Molotov. <laughs> Got him. With my six shooter, 357 Magnum, Colt Python. You feel lucky, punk, do ya? <laughs> if you do this assassination, will gas prices go down? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we can only hope. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well... Uh, I think I found my first target. There's another... There's an enemy sniper in that tower over there. Don't want to leave him breathing, so I'm going to take him out. Eeny, meeny, miny... Can I... There we go. Got him. No, but Bitcoin might rebound. <laughs> All right, boys. Here's the plan. My crypto wallet is in the in the in the gutter right now. I gotta <laughs> I gotta blow the brains out of a Soviet general to make crypto make Bitcoin bounce back. <laughs> Five cents a gallon per kill. Yeah, let's rack them up. Let's just let's just bring the price down one kill at a time. How many how many cents a gallon do you think gas will go down if I just whack this dude to death with a with a pipe wrench? What do, you, what do you think? Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> God. Got him. Alright, there's some 
More dudes up ahead. Got a decent vantage point here. I could thin him out before I move on. Gotta be careful of the fan, though. <laughs> Two cents per whack. <laughs> that sounds fair to me. Okay, that's a kill. And... Nope, that's a miss. That's another kill. Nope. There we go. <laughs> gotta go for the head. Like like Thanos said, you gotta go for the head. Alright. That's probably good enough for now. Let's move up. It's me against the world, and all I need is my rifle and my magnum. And my wrench. Don't forget the wrench. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. Oh fuck. Spec Ops guy. No. No. Okay, he's burning. Eat wrench. Got him. I killed him with the wrench. Holy shit, that was close. My uh, my goose was cooked for a second there. All right, you know what? I'm ditching the rifle, or I'm ditching the sniper for now. I'm just gonna use the AK, uh, so I can survive long enough to get to my vantage point. That was a sick role. That dude deserved a promotion to general. <laughs> yeah, if he had um if he had survived getting clobbered with my wrench, he might have gotten that promotion. Uh he showed spirit. He showed a lot of spirit. Uh but it wasn't good enough. That Model Tough cocktail was brought to you by ExxonMobil. <laughs> That's right. I'm using oil to bring gas prices down. How ironic. Okay, so the long-term plan here is I think I'm going to need to kind of sneak around the back of these buildings here uh, to these towers. One of these towers, that's probably the best place to uh, take the shot from. So let me see here. Yeah, I think I see another sniper in that tower. I'll have to take him out eventually. Each Molotov raises gas by 20 cents. <laughs> Hey, it takes, it takes gas to make gas, you know? Sometimes you gotta spend it to make it. Okay. Sneaking, sneaking. Being super sneaky. You gotta spend money to make money, that's right. That is correct. All right, two-man patrol coming my way. I know it's going to raise gas prices a bit, but I think I have to use another Molotov, so. Peekaboo. Oh, that was a beautiful throw. Well, shit, I only got one of them, not, not both of them. Worth a try. Worth a try. I'm just going to bum rush him. <laughs> just wrench him to death. <laughs> when in doubt... Whack him with a wrench. That's my, uh... That's my M.O. Oh, another little group of guys here. I think there's a fuel barrel right next to them. Oh, one left. Stay down. Or as my crypto wallet suggests, you gotta spend money to lose money. <laughs> uh, ain't that the truth. Produced by LK says, after I made my doge bag, I dipped. Good move. Good move. Very good move. That's why they call them pump and dump schemes. <laughs> Looks like you were on the right end of it this time. 
A lot of people weren't so lucky. Ah, shit. No, I keep missing. Come on. There we go. Let's get him in the dome. Alright, that's two. Two headshots. And poke your head up. There we go. That's another. Racking up the headshots. Throwing grenades. Hot potato. Stay down. Let's just let's just AK rat attack these suckers. I made about seven hundred in Ethereum, lost a hundred, and ran away. Hey, that's still even evens out. It's a it's a pretty good average. I made no money on crypto at all. I it was a complete loss for me. That's how it goes sometimes. It's fine. I've got penny stocks. It's it's low and slow, but it's steady. Okay, I think I hear explosions. Someone's throwing grenades. At oh shit! I got sniped. Someone. Uh, yeah, there's a sniper over there. And he's a pretty good shot. Gonna need my uh, need my scope back. Let's go grab it. Hello, beautiful. Come to Papa. We've got some long shots to make. Ouch! Take that. Folded that dude. Where'd he go? There he is. See his legs are just <laughs> he's dangling over the over the container. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. Okay, I'm almost to the tower. That's where I can take my shot. There's another sniper up there. He's in my perch. I don't I don't like that. I'm taking my perch from him. Shit. There we go. Second time's the charm. Quick save again. Then I can move up, take the shot, call it a day. All right, grab some more sniper rounds. Oh shit. Yep, there's another guy. Yep. Another sniper. Let's get him. Damn it. There we go. Alright. So, let's see here. It looks like the target is in one of the buildings over this way. And it looks heavily guarded, so yeah, this tower is probably still my best bet. Good angle. Not not as well guarded anymore. Right, let's just try and sneak over there. Ah, shit. This one doesn't have a ladder. Gonna have to get closer. Don't see me, don't see me. Do not perceive me in any way, I'm not here. Let's go, let's go. Get up top. Alright, yeah, they're uh they're on high alert. They're definitely suspicious now. But I've made it to the top. I'm in my roost. This is a perfect sniper's perch. Got a good line of sight on the courtyard. And there he is. There's our boy. That's the target. General Tatarin. The man who killed my brother. Oh, he's going to get what's coming to him today. I'm going to do you a favor, General. Sending you home a war hero. Nighty night.
Boom. Ventilated that sucker. All right, let's make a make a break for it. He killed American gas prices. That's that's the real crime. <laughs> yeah, I got I got to turn into John Cena now. They can't see me. Oh shit. All right, so you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to swim. <laughs> I'm going to swim back. Oh, shit. That, I think that gunship's on to me. No, no, you can't see me. My time is now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see me. My time is now. All right, good. All right, cool. I think I think I'm in the clear. Twenty five dollars off per barrel of gas. That that was our big swing. That, that, I've made a real difference today. And yes, I also love that Russian accent. It's great. <laughs> you can you can tell it was like, hey, can, some guy. Hey, can you can you do a Russian accent? No. Well, let's hear it anyway. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Alright, job's done. Time to go home. Back to the rebel base. Uh-oh, what's this, though? What's going on here? Yes, I know your name. Perhaps this is more familiar. Hello, Christopher. Oh, shit. I've resumed my original profession. You never questioned where all that juicy information was coming from. <sighs> I love about the Americans. One finger up the nose and the other on the remote. Mr. Jones was a traitor the whole time. You were also busy entertaining yourself to death. Oh my god. But our great nation was busy. Busy liberating Europe from the same fate. Our horizon grew. While yours has faded out. God damn it. Betrayal. The enemy has invaded our base. We've been sold out. What will Chris do next? What will Christopher Stone, the Manhattan plumber, turn freedom phantom? How will he get out of this one? Find out next time. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for tonight. I want to thank everyone for hanging out. This has been fun. Join us next time for uh, maybe some more Freedom Fighters shenanigans. I might stream something else next, but this has been fun. I'm going to hop off, call it a night. But uh, just once again, my name's Connor. I've been your host. You've been watching the Lore Party Podcast Network Twitch channel. Check out our shows on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Follow us on Twitter at Lore underscore Party. And until next time, take care. Be good, be excellent to each other, and peace out.